So let's take a look at the CRX side of this. So using 3.8 software and biogeneric software, scan our upper arch, our lower arch, and take what's new, a buckle bite, in this scenario to create a virtually articulated model. And here's a screenshot showing our preparation arch, our lower and uh, posing arch, and our bite, uh, which is done not through a bite registration, but through a view of the patient biting into centric occlusion and taking pictures in that area. Here you can see uh, the upper arch, lower arch, and the bite registration. These are repositioned and the computer will automatically line up your bite registration or your, sorry, your buckle bite with the preparation arch and then you line it up with your opposing arch and it basically creates a virtual articulated model, uh, which is fantastic. Allows us to see the opposing, not just a bite registration area, to have complete view of our opposing to give us a better idea of contours and occlusion. So here we can take an occlusal view of our preparation, which is a temporary abutment, and then we can vary just like normal CEREC technique, if this were a natural tooth, we simply draw our margin and then we move forward. Here we've used biogeneric software to design our tooth, and the biogeneric takes a look at the adjacent teeth and designs a restoration that looks and feels like it should belong in that area using mathematical principles. Here on the incisal edge, you can see what, what I've done here is use the shape tool and create a divot into the tooth, into the restoration that will give me access to my screw hole, allowing me to create a screw retained implant restoration temporary. And here's our design completed. And basically at this point, we're ready to go ahead and mill out our restoration. Here's our restoration milled out. In this case, we use a paradigm composite block from 3M. It is milled out, the screw hole is completed, so we have access uh, to make this a screw retained temporary restoration. And now, basically we're ready to go to surgery, atraumatically take out our tooth, place our implant in a predetermined, pre-positioned um, site based on the surgical guide, and then based on the surgical guide, we're able to pre-make an implant temporary um, using the CEREC 3D technology.